Hey, Sean, I have my own podcast. I have the Hardy and Sons podcast that I host with David, and I've got the Our Little World podcast that we're banking episodes on right now, but it isn't yet released. But I get asked a lot about what sort of setup do you need to create a podcast? And so I wanted to walk through my workflow, especially now that so many interviews are happening remotely. And I wanted to talk about what's possible for you if you want to get started with a podcast without necessarily getting into all of the gear acquisition that I have. So the fun stuff first, the gear, when I record a podcast, I use three things. I have my Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser microphone. And then I have this pop filter, which was eight or $10 on Amazon. And before I had this, my audio was peaking and, and the plosives, when you say a P into a microphone, you blow into it. And with a condenser microphone, you can like peak the, the audio, clip it where I was listening in my car to something I had recorded and almost had a headache from these little things. Eight bucks is a great investment to making sure that you don't have that problem. So microphone, pop filter, and then I run it into the Zoom F6 audio recorder. And what the F6 does that not all recorders do is the F6 can record in what we call 32-bit floating point audio. And what that means is with, with the other technology in this, it can record audio that's essentially raw. And, and what I mean by that is if you talk way, way, way too loud, rather than it peaking and breaking your levels, you can just in post-production later in your software, turn it down and you will save all of that. It'll sound perfect. It won't sound like it was just quieter of bad audio. It'll be good, well-maintained audio. And same thing if you record a little quietly, you'll be able to bring that up without bringing a big noise floor with it. It's a really, really great recorder, especially if you're not gonna be focusing on monitoring your levels nonstop it's a really, really nice insurance policy to making sure you have good audio. Now, regardless of whether you're using a recorder, they also have USB microphones. The Audio-Technica AT2020 comes in a USB version now where you can plug it directly into a computer. And I use the F6 as an audio interface so that I can plug a USB cable into this and it'll go into my computer and send all the audio from my microphone to the computer. And that is how I do all of my remote podcasting because rather than sync up audio from people recording things on their own end and sending files, it's a lot easier to use a software platform like Zencaster or Squadcast. I've been using Zencaster because I liked their pricing a little bit more. Zencaster also has a free option with unlimited recording during the pandemic. And so if you wanted to use something like this, give it a shot. The limitation of the free version is that it only records an MP3 quality, so it's a little compressed instead of an uncompressed WAV file. But odds are that's still a better quality than you're going to get using anything else other than a lot of expensive gear. So check it out, but Zencaster lets you record locally at everyone's computer. And what this means is, Compared to like recording a Zoom call or a Skype call where everyone's audio sounds like it's coming through a Skype call and it's a little compressed and distorted just because they try to make it small enough to travel in real time through the internet. What this does is even if it's a laptop microphone, it records the sound locally and then after you're done with the conversation, then it uploads that file. And even with those cheap microphones, it sounds so good and so much better than a professional microphone recorded through a compressed Skype call or Zoom call. So a program like this goes a long way to making sure you get good audio. And even if somebody's internet sort of cuts out and their response gets choppy, that won't be in the audio because that audio is being recorded locally at their computer and so it's not subject to the, the quality of the internet, except for after you're done, uploading it may take a little bit longer, but it'll be uploading a perfect file, even with the pieces that you maybe didn't hear during the live call. So this goes a long way. It also syncs up the files automatically because everyone's recording at the same time. Whereas when I've recorded a few times with me recording a file in my F6 and everyone else recording in their own recorders, then I have to come in and sync those files up because we're not all gonna press record at the exact same time. So this software has gone a long way to making it easier. But all of these things have a cost except for the free version of Zencaster. But what I really like lately is Anchor.fm and I swear this isn't a paid advertisement for them, but it's a really, really good software and I'm shocked that not only more people don't use it, but that everyone doesn't use it. And my light died. 
Anchor.fm is like the YouTube of podcasts, where it is free to upload your podcasts there, and they host them there forever. They won't leave, they won't get deleted if you don't stay active, but they'll also help you put ads in your podcasts. They'll find advertisers, including themselves. I think the first ad you get is an ad for Anchor. But as you read those ads, they pay you and they take a cut of that money to pay for their own platform. But there are no monthly fees and there are no catches. And compared to other platforms that I've used over the years, which cost 12 to $20 a month just to host your podcast, if you're not putting out new episodes, these files are tiny and paying 20 bucks a month to have them hosted somewhere seems like they're gouging you. So Anchor.fm is a great platform, but furthermore, they have an app. The Anchor app lets you record episodes directly into your phone using your, your phone's microphone, which is typically pretty good. And if you're in a well-controlled room, it'll sound really good. And I've had episodes that I've recorded just in my phone, no other microphones. And it's sometimes pretty hard to tell the difference between the great mics and the phone mics. But the really nice thing is after you record the episodes in your phone and you can use their app to talk remotely to multiple people, they'll combine all that audio for you. But then not only do they host your audio, but they take care of distributing it automatically. And that can be the toughest part of a podcast where you get this podcast, you record it, but getting it listed on Apple and Google and Spotify and Stitcher and wherever else you want it to go is sort of a cumbersome process and Anchor.fm is the only platform I've seen that does all of that automatically. All you have to do is upload your podcast to Anchor and they're gonna put it available on Apple, available on, on Google, and wherever people listen to podcasts, they'll take care of putting it there for you. And that saves you a bunch of time. So if you have an idea for a podcast and you're thinking, I don't know if it's worth investing in all this gear, all this software, Give your podcast a shot on Anchor. Record it on your phone because I promise you, if you've got good content, people will deal with it sounding a little subpar. They'll deal with some background noise. They'll deal with a non-studio setting. But you'll be able to see, do people like your content? Is your podcast idea repeatable and sustainable as an idea? And before you've invested a whole bunch of money in things, you can find out quickly if it's something that you wanna keep doing. So I encourage you, if you're ready, yeah, get some gear, make it sound amazing. If you're just wanting to tiptoe in, check out anchor.fm. Again, it's not paid by them. It really is just a great software. And I talk to so many people who have good ideas for podcasts, but they don't know where to get started. Try the Anchor app, see how far it gets you. And when you outgrow it, there's things waiting for you. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. See you later. Bye.